Hi, this is Paula. Today, one of my clients brought me a very premium candle to see if we can fix some of the issues that it has. So this is um, a baobab candle. It's the biggest size and usually when you have a candle like this, you need to burn for the first or two first burns, you need to let it burn for many hours until you achieve a full melt pool. That means that the melted wax has reached the edges of the glass. So if you don't do this, it's very likely that you're gonna end up with tunnels. And this is what's happened here. Let me show you, it's very, very heavy, right? So this is what's happened uh, here. So the client didn't know that that was what it was required. So then one, once this happens, it's very difficult to burn it properly. So today we're gonna try to fix it. So stay with me and we'll give it a go. Okay, so what's the plan? Um, what we are going to do you can see all these tunnels. So the plan here is that we're gonna try to scoop all this wax out of the glass. And the, the way we're gonna do that is by heating it very gently. And then we're just gonna scoop it out. See how it goes. Okay, let's get a start. If you're wondering what the scent is like for this candle, I would describe it as a very luxurious hotel reception room. I think that is the best way to describe this. It's really fresh, very luxurious. I'm really enjoying being next to it. <laughs> okay, so let's get started, shall we? Slowly. Okay, so I'm just gonna melt the top layer here. And this is gonna take a while. I need to be very careful because this is hand-blown glass. The last thing I want to do is to break this amazing bus. You get the idea? Hmm? I'll see you tomorrow at this rate. We're gonna here it's that some of the wigs are very 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 small so ideally what we need to achieve is the low the um, level of the, of the wax needs to be slightly lower than the wig so we're gonna have to expose enough of a wig so you know when we start this candle again it's gonna be a success we don't want the tunnels to happen again so you know here we have a longer this one's longer, but this one's really small, but that one's hardly there. So I'm just going to have to lower the level of this slightly more. Okay, so let's continue. last night and this is what it's looking like today so some of the wigs are a bit longer than others so I'm gonna have to clip this one just very slightly so I don't want one to be a lot longer than the other um, so I'm just gonna clip it like this okay so we have enough wig exposed here to start a burn so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn it for a few hours today to test it before it goes back to my client, 
okay? So come with me and we're gonna light this candle. The candle is ready. I'm gonna test it now. I'm gonna burn it for a few hours to see if I can achieve a full melt pool. So I'm gonna burn it for as long as it needs to achieve a full melt pool. And that could be all day, but it's 11 o'clock in the morning and we have all day. I'm working from home today. So I'm gonna babysit this <laughs> the whole day. Right, you see they're picking up nicely and then what I'm expecting to happen is that this starts to create a really nice milk bowl. It is lovely. So I'm doing this just to make sure that when it goes back to my client, it's burning properly. I'll see you in a couple of hours. were struggling so they were drowning on in the wax so i removed around 200 grams of wax and this is how it's looking now we've got enough wick there to start a good burn again so i'm gonna give it back to my client and she can enjoy the rest of the candle thank you for watching